Good morning! I'm your radio teacher. I am your science buddy. And I'll give you an exciting lesson that you'll surely enjoy. Sci Talks Radio. Education must continue. Learning is a great avenue. No, no one, one will be left behind. behind. With new normal comes new learning. New method, new way of understanding. Keep on learning. Keep on achieving. There's no way of hindering. Enriching one's dream. This, This is Sci Talks Radio, your, your number one source of science education. education. Conveying a half an hour of quality scientific teaching on air. This is Sci Talks Radio. Happy New Year kids! A new year to learn new things again for the amazing learners of grade 6. Welcome to Teped Radio Escuela, your school on air in science. This is teacher Ogi G. Raimundo, your radio teacher from the division of Isabella. So how do you feel this day with the new year to learn, my dear grade 6 learners? I hope that you really enjoyed having fun with your family, relatives, neighbors, and friends following the IATF protocols throughout the celebration we had. Let me check if you are still with me. If I say an animal's name, you will clap three times and stamp three times, saying the food that they commonly eat. Did you get it? All right, you got it. Okay, let's have a try. Monkey eats. Wow, I can hear your loud claps and stamps saying, banana. So every time you are hearing me saying an animal's name, you will clap three times and stamp three times, saying the food that they commonly eat, okay? Very good! Calm yourselves and be in your comfortable place as we begin our new lesson in science for the second quarter. Before we go to our learning adventure today, let me see if you can still recall our previous lesson. Do you still remember our previous session? Good! It's all about the characteristics of invertebrates. Have you been to a pond? Oh, most of you said yes! I believe many of you have been there. I know that you really love exploring outside your home during this season, right? Awesome! While you are in the pond, what animals did you see? I'm impressed! I feel and see that you are an observant saying dragonfly. What else? Yes, you're right! There are frogs there. Are there some more? Correct! Water lilies. Can you give another? Nice going! There are also mosquitoes there. Are there some more? I heard you right! We have soil and water. What else? Great! I heard on! Can you give another? Good job! A fish! Based from your observation, Did you see an animal eating other living things there? Okay! Can you give a pair of them? Fantastic! I heard you saying a frog eats the dragonfly. What else? Marvelous! Iron eats fish. So what they call the place where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another? Amazing! You got it! It's ecosystem and that is what we are going to discuss today. The three types of ecosystem, tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. Rabbit eats. Excellent! I can sense that you are with me by clapping and stamping three times and saying carrots. Have you been to a forest or watched a scene inside a forest? What things have you noticed? You're right! There are plants and animals who live in a trap there. So what role do plants act inside the forest? That's clever! They act as producers. How about the animals? Well done! They act as consumers in the forest. A forest is what kind of ecosystem? Excellent! A forest is a kind of ecosystem belonging to tropical rainforest. 
So what is the interaction that exists among the organisms in the tropical rainforest living together without harming one another? Good job! It's called commensalism. Can you give an example of commensalism? You're right! An orchid attached to the trunk of a tree. What interaction is happening between a bee or a butterfly sucking the nectar from a flower and the flower reproduces? You rock! It's called mutualism. In mutualism, both organisms benefit in their relationship. How about competition? Great job! Competition is an interaction wherein organisms compete for survival. Can you give an example of this? Fantastic! Grass, shrubs, flowers, and trees grow together in one area where they compete for a source of food, sunlight, soil nutrients, and other things needed for their survival. And what do you call a type of interaction in the tropical rainforest in which one organism kills smaller organisms for food? Wonderful! We call it predation. Can you give an example of this interaction? Very good! A snake eats a rat for food. A cow eats? Great! You are so attentive with your clubs and stamps saying grass! The next exorcism that we are going to deal with is the coral reefs. Are you familiar with the film Finding Nemo? I feel that you are smiling after telling one of your favorite character. So what type of fish is Nemo? In where does this kind of animal live? Great! It is a clownfish and it lives in the coral reefs. What animals do you see in the coral reefs? Excellent! We have fish, crustaceans, mollusks, nidarians, sponges, and echinoderms. So what interaction exists in the coral reefs ecosystem? where organisms live together without harming one another and an example of this is barnacles attached on the skin of turtles? Perfect! We call it commensalism. Can you give another example? You nailed it! Shark and suckerfish. How about the relationship existing between corals and algae? Sensational! It is called mutualism. Are there some other example of this relationship? Very good! Clownfish and anemone. What interaction of organism in the coral reef wherein organisms compete for survival? Great job! It is called competition. Can you give another example? Great! A snail and starfish competing to eat coral? How about an interaction in the coral reef in which one organism kills a smaller organism for food? Nice! It is called predation. Can you give other example of this interaction? Fantastic! Whale and sardines. What interaction is in the coral reef between fish and parasites? Great! It is called parasitism. Can you give another example? Wonderful! Parasitic crustaceans and reef fish. Cat eats? I'm impressed! I feel that you are enjoying while well learning based on your loud claps and stop saying fish! For our third ecosystem, the main organism that dominates this ecosystem is the mangrove plants and animals like crustaceans and migratory birds. What ecosystem is this? That's it! We call it mangrove swamps. What other organisms do we see in the mangrove swamps? Correct! There are fish, oyster, mussels, monitor lizards, mudskipper, shrimps, crabs, and saltwater crocodiles. What we call an interaction between barnacles and oyster attached themselves to the roots of mangroves? You nailed it! We call it commensalism. How about the interaction? between crabs and mollusks, helping to break down plant litter through grazing? You get it right! It's called mutualism. What interaction can be seen between white heron and fish? Hats off! We call it predation. Why is mangrove swamp ecosystem important? Outstanding! They serve as breeding and nesting grounds of animal species. What else? 
great. It acts as natural barrier and flood defense as they defend coastlines from flooding and erosion. Are there some more? Excellent! Mangrove is an important source of livelihood of people living in coastal areas. What three types of ecosystem that have you learned in this lesson? Sensational! It seems that you really enjoyed our discussion about ecosystem because your answer is correct. They are tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps. So what ecosystem is merely composed of forests, living and unliving things? Very good! This is tropical rainforest. How about an ecosystem that is composed of different species like fish, seagrass, corals, sponges, and other marine animals? You got it again! The answer is coral reefs ecosystem. The next type of ecosystem is composed mostly of mangrove plants and animals like crustaceans and migratory birds. What do you call this ecosystem? Exceptional! We call it mangrove swamps. What are interactions did we learn from these ecosystems? Good job! They are commensalism, mutualism, competition, predation, and parasitism. I know that you learn a lot and have fun discussing with me this day and ready for a quiz. Prepare yourself including the things you'll be needing like your ball pen and quiz notebook because we are about to begin. Listen carefully to the instruction. Analyze and choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your quiz notebook. Let's start with number one. Which of the following pairs of organisms shows commensalism? A. Butterflies sucking the flowers B. Ferns attached to a tree C. Flatworms in coral reefs D. Snake eating a rat Number 2. What kind of interaction is shown when one organism kills another organism for food? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Community D. Population Number 3. Which group of organisms can be found in the mangrove ecosystem? A. Mussels Fish Corals B. Worm Rat Fish C. Butterfly Snake Bird and D. Mangrove Trees Fiddler Crab fish. Number 4. It is an environment where both living and non living things exist and interact with one another. A. Ecology. B. Ecosystem. C. Community. D. Population. Fifth question. What kind of interaction is shown when animals like crabs and mollusks help break down plant litter in a mangrove ecosystem? To grazing a competition b commensalism c parasitism d mutualism number six why is producer important in an ecosystem a it is the source of food to the consumers b it is an organism that eats plants c it breaks down organisms into smaller particles D. It is a series of feeding relationship. Number 7. What kind of interaction is shown when worms live in the guts and flesh of a fish? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Predation D. Parasitism Number 8. One example of competition in tropical rainforests is when the shrubs and trees are growing together in one area. What do they compete for? A. Sunlight and soil nutrients B. Oxygen and carbon dioxide C. Chemicals and oxygen D. Water and chemicals Number 9. Why is the relationship between the coral and the algae in the coral reefs considered mutualistic? A. The corals benefit in the interaction and not the algae. B. The corals receive oxygen from algae. The algae get protection from corals. 
C. The corals receive oxygen from algae while the algae are harmed. D. The corals and algae live together without harming each other. Number 10. Why is there a need to protect and conserve the mangrove swamp ecosystem? A. It is home to animals like jaguar, monkey, and all. B. It serves as breeding or nesting grounds of fishes. C. It protects sea animals like sponges, mollusks, and crustaceans. D. It provides livelihood to the farmers. Dog eats? Great! I can still feel your energy with your loud claps and stamps three times saying, Bones! And it shows that you really did understand our lesson for today. Let's find out how far you've learned today by checking your quiz. What letter is your answer in number 1? Yes, it is letter B. Say hooray if you answer letter D in number 2, because you got it right. Wow, I heard your loud voices. Now say I'm the best if you answered letter D in number 3. That's great, you really are the best. Number 4. You got it right, the answer is letter B. Number 5, letter D. Let's proceed to number 6. It's letter A. I know that you all nailed number 7 which is letter D. Number 8 is letter A. Number 9, letter B. And the correct answer in number 10 is letter B. How's your quiz? Did you enjoy it? I feel that you excel in our quiz based on the result and the faces that you have even if I don't see you in person. For those who got a perfect score, congratulations, and for those who didn't, I know that you have more potential to show next lesson. Thank you so much for having you in this episode kids, it's really fun being with you in a new year and a new learning journey. I'll say goodbye now on behalf of our script writer, Mr. Augie G. Raimundo, in the SDO Isabella RBI production, I am your ready teacher, Teacher Augie G. Raimundo. Stay healthy, stay safe, and God bless us all. Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon! Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela!